Good morning and thank you for joining us for this morning's announcement. I'm Marjorie Fields Harris, Press Secretary to Mayor Raz Baraka. This morning's press conference will feature remarks by Mayor Baraka, after which we will take questions for, from the media on this, on this matter alone. If you are not a member of the media and have questions, please see me immediately following for further discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Raz Baraka. Good morning. Um, this is a, first I want to thank the council for coming and, and standing uh, with me this morning to make this uh, announcement, which is a uh, difficult in some instances, but also good for the city uh, in many, many ways. You know, all over the country and in the state of New Jersey, uh, people are organizing uh, public safety uh, departments for various reasons. One, it consolidates the emergency resources in the city as it relates to first responders. Two is an uh, incredible cost-saving measure for the city. Immediately it should save us close to a half a million dollars or more. Uh, uh, you know, thirdly, it gives us an opportunity to have less people accountable for the issues that are taking place in our city. Uh, and so we're able to have go-to folks that are, that are right there, less bureaucracy uh, as it relates to getting things done on the street. And it gets us to be able to take a lot of folks from uh, the top of the administration and begin to put them in areas where we need them. Supervision on the, on, in the neighborhoods, supervision in the streets, uh, uh, in the community, and put more officers in the street, uh, which has been our trend uh, since we took office here uh, in July 2014 to put more officers in the street. We still have a, uh, a very uh, kind of strict and hard and difficult kind of plan as it relates to trying to put uh, more, more officers in the academy and getting them out of the academy in time for the summer. And we're still uh, on that timeline and we're still pushing forward to make that happen. So as a result of, of, of all of these things and uh, recent issues that have been happening in the city, we decided to go to move forward uh, around this public safety strategy. We are consolidating fire, police, and OEM under one uh, director. Sir, sit down. Right now, the two uh, chiefs will remain. Uh, Chief Centennial of the Fire Department, Chief Campos of the Police Department. Uh, there is no uh, plan in the, in the immediate future uh, to, to, to have these people go. Uh, the director, Police director will no longer uh, be necessary. A fire director will no longer be necessary. A deputy police director, a deputy fire director, uh, two communications offices, two finance offices, all of those things will not be necessary. They'll be consolidated into one uh, kind of unit. Right now, we were able to uh, uh, be able to get Anthony Ambrose to be our uh, public safety director, our acting public safety director, on loan from the county, uh, so we do not have to pay his uh, salary or benefits. Uh, the good thing about it is that he's on loan for until we get this thing uh, together and I'm confident that uh, when he finishes his you know months here on loan that he'll do a good job and we'll be able to make him the full-time public safety director. Uh, the great thing about it is if it doesn't work we get to change uh, but I, I, I think that this is going to work. I look forward to work. We need it to work here in the city of Newark. We also uh, are going to move up in, on the fire side because we need fire in the, uh, the leadership. Uh, Raul Malave, who is a battalion chief uh, in the fire department, who is now going to be the deputy public safety director. I do want to add that the director, uh, uh, Venable, will still be in the command staff uh, in the director's office, will still be involved in operations of the police department uh, uh, from day to day. Uh, he still will be in leadership in our department and working very closely with the public safety director in all uh, aspects and the decisions that are being made. So any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Mayor, can you explain the methodology, the, the research that you did to make this significant change to the infrastructure? Well, there, there's a study that Michigan State did that, that we researched, uh, but also is happening right in front of us. The Jersey City has done it, uh, Irvington has done it, East Orange has done it. Uh, we are moving in that direction right here in the city of Newark. It is uh, kind of a no-brainer in terms of cost savings for the city. It's a no-brainer as, as it relates to all of the terrorism that's been happening in our community to, uh, in this country to be able to get 
and streamline first responders in this town to put fire, police, and OEM under the same banner uh, so there's no heads butting, that we have a, a strategy that affects all three departments. And it's also important for us to begin to shake up some things that have been going on in the city uh, very recently to get to streamline uh, our bureaucracy, to get less of it as a matter of fact, uh, to get less people accountable and not a thousand people accountable, uh, to be able to have some answers to some of the things that are going on in our city. I think a, new, a lot of Newarkers might ask, how does this change make them safer? Well, I, I think that uh, we, we believe that streamlining the resources in our community, putting people under, under, under one roof helps to do that. It, it uh, you know, reduces some of the bureaucracy. It puts more command staff on the street. Uh, it puts more officers on the street. It c consolidates departments that I think were top heavy and, and allows us to have more leadership uh, where the officers actually are and not in offices and places uh, uh, doing things that they probably should be doing that they could be better served in the neighborhoods and the streets on. So that right away is going to help us. I think that allowing us to have the uh, former chief of detectives at the county here on loan allows us an opportunity to bring a lot of the resources from the state and from the county level here to the city of Newark uh, to kind of consolidate those resources as well to be able to have that long reach in all those areas to help put that stuff on the ground in, in the city of Newark. Yeah. Mayor, uh, some of the crime numbers are up this year, homicides, some of the others, some others are not. Uh, is this in any way a reaction to that, to that increase well, in some areas? Well, one, I think we were going to do uh, something anyway, but some of it is. So I would be lying if I said it, it, it wasn't a reaction to some of that. It is. Uh, and people can't have it both ways. I know there are people who, who don't want us to shake things up, but they want to also protest because things are not going the right way. We, we can't, you know, uh, talk out of both sides of our mouth. We have to make hard decisions, and uh, I've been elected by people to make hard decisions, and these are the decisions that we're making to help make this thing uh, work better for us in the city. Mayor, is this just a real um, bureaucratic change by the top, or is it a real reconstruction of the police department? It's both. It's a reconstruction of the police department in terms of uh, really the, just the top level who they're answering to, uh, the bureaucracy of it, the fire department, the OEM as well. Uh, it's less people in charge <laughs> at the top, which is important for me, and more people uh, on the bottom, on the ground level, doing the kind of work that we need them to do. Uh, uh, that's important for me. So it, it is going to shake the police department up, probably because people, one, we, we're not used to change. We don't like change for the most part. And some of the personalities that are involved in this, uh, you know, may cause issue and ire for a lot of people in the, in, in the city, in the department. But we need these changes. We need this pain. We need to go through this pain to get us where we need to be in the city. And a follow-up, how is it going to affect the uh, relations with the monitor, with the city, the shakeup? Well, uh, I don't see it having a, a kind of real serious effect on the, on the police monitor. I do know that in this, this discussion, we are talking about having a unit assigned just to the monitor uh, uh, and, and being able to deal with those strategies. We've been thinking about uh, the internal affairs and, and some of the changes that we're going to make in terms of the leadership at the top of internal affairs, removing police from the top of internal affairs. We've been thinking about uh, other positions in the city that are, that are uh, you know, commanded by uh, actual uniform staff, that we put non-uniform staff to command these units that are not police uh, kind of functions. So all, there's going to be a lot of changes. So this is just the beginning. How many jobs do you think are going to be lost? Well, I th you mean positions are, are going to be, uh, so I want to change that question. It, it makes it seem like we're firing people, but there's thousands of people being laid off. That's not what's happening. As a matter of fact, the director, uh, so there's no police director, there's no fire director, there's no deputy police director, there's no deputy fire director. Uh, there are folks in the communications department, folks in other departments that are, uh, communi uh, commu uh, not communications, but community uh, relations, all those things are going to be consolidated. So there's a few positions that are probably going to be people who have to do other things besides that or, uh, or use in a different capacity. Or oh, are these jobs that are going to go away doing attrition? attrition? Some of the people will be doing things that they weren't doing before, so they'll be on staff here still, 
you know, some of the salaries, of course, would be reduced. Uh, you know, if in, instead of instead of having two or three people at the top, you have one uh, director and one deputy director, not four. Mayor, you you mentioned in that in some instances six. You mentioned that Director Venable will be staying on. What yes. will be his new title, and what is the what's happening to the fire well, director? We're, we're still working that out, uh, but the the Venable will still be in. A, he's very important and very useful for us uh, in the city. Uh, he is been committed to trying to change some of the things that have been happening in this community. He's been uh, Im immensely important for us in terms of building community relations. So he has to stay in the command staff in the police department. Uh, and we're going to ensure that that happens absolutely in the director's office. Um, the fire director uh, is uh, retirement age. So, you know, he's been with us and he served well for almost 50 years in the fire service uh, in the city of Newark. And we uh, thank him and applaud him for the work that he's done uh, in this city for almost five decades. Mayor, you mentioned accountability as being one of the reasons why you're making these changes. How much of an issue has accountability been within these departments? Well, it's always easier to have less people accountable and not more. I think that's the point I was trying to make, uh, where there's not a lot of people you can point the finger at. There's only one or two people at the top that have to take full responsibility for what's happening in the city, no matter, no matter if it's police or fire or OEM, that there's one person I can go to and, and, and their assistant and not five or six different people that I have to sit at the table with. Last question. Uh, Mr. Mayor, how long have these changes been under consideration, and do you see it having an impact on the day-to-day -day public safety and crime reduction strategy that you'd already elic elicited? Well, we've been contemplating these changes for some time. We've been contemplating uh, public safety director and streamlining the department uh, for some time, uh, as well as other changes, a uh, whole public safety strategy that involved Newark Community Street Team, Newark Violence Reduction Initiative, community policing, or, or uh, the Safer Newark Council, which we have that no other city in America has with the private sector, the public sector, police officers, uh, as well as uh, the academic uh, community sits on a board to begin thinking of alternative strategies for policing in the city. All that stuff will continue to happen in tandem with what's going on right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it'll make it easier for us uh, because there's le less of us at the table. Uh, and, and we don't have to play phone, uh, uh, the phone game, you know, so it's easy for us to, to get done what we need to get done in a very timely fashion. That's it. Thank everybody for coming. <laughs>